WordPress this, WordPress that. Everyone has WordPress website nowadays, and that's awesome. But how many WordPress platforms are there, and what are their differences? This is Sandy from Space Cookies, and today we will go through the basics of WordPress.com and WordPress.org. So keep watching, and by the end of this video, you will know what is the difference and which one is best for you. So there are two types of WordPress. One that is called WordPress.com and one that is called WordPress.org. Let's start with .org. This is a self-hosted website, which means you need to visit WordPress.org and download the, Word the WordPress application files, buy a domain name and a hosting package, upload and install WordPress, and that's it. You can now start adding content to your blog or website. Our own spacecookies.eu is made with this type of self-hosted WordPress site. On WordPress.com now, all you need to do is visit WordPress.com and create an account. You don't need to think about servers and hosting, everything is hosted on WordPress.com. And this is an example of a nice WordPress.com website. But what are the pros and cons of each platform? This is somewhat personal, but I will tell you some key differences and after that you will be able to decide which one suits your needs best. So let's take WordPress.org. On this one, you have complete control over everything. It's your own website and you get to enjoy all the WordPress features without any limitations. The sky's the limit. But you are responsible for building and creating the site from scratch, so to speak. And you are responsible for purchasing your domain name and the nice hosting package. If you are a professional blogger or a company, then this is the way to go. On WordPress.com, you don't have to worry about installing or downloading anything. Everything is already done for you by the WordPress.com team and you get the basic features for free. So if you're a casual blogger or a small company and you don't want to worry about technical issues, installation, servers and so on, then I would suggest that this is a good platform for you. It does offer premium features for a fee, but I believe it's worth it and when it comes to technical errors, you're almost stress-free. So. If I were to say it as brief as possible, .org gives you great flexibility and you need to purchase your own domain and hosting package. .com gives you a great starting point and you don't have to download or purchase anything. Just create an account on WordPress.com. Now you know the differences between these two amazing platforms. I hope my video helped you understand which one is best for you. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe for more amazing content. Thanks for watching.